Yo, what's up? So, a few months back, I did a cinematic cover of Take On Me from The Last of Us with Ellie singing. And I, ha- I had one viewer ask me what was my production process like for that one. So I thought it'd be cool to show you guys what I did. Because th- in this time, I used some kind of haunting string textures and I uh, added some eerie soundscapes, which I have never done before. So it was a lot of fun to do trying to add this horror element in such a intimate scene so with that being said i'm gonna play the track for now it's very short and then after that we'll take a look into what instruments i used and how i use them you could probably tell is very very minimal and I'm just kind of playing around with the strings and adding some textures eerie textures might I add so to start off with I think we'll look at the strings first because that's the one of the foundations of this track what I'm using over here is the Oliver Arnold's uh, Spitfire strings library I've divided it into high and low strings meaning the high octaves and the low octaves and I think they're just basically doing or like signal notes uh, just to keep the tension going you know so what I have over here just to start off with is the low and the high uh, three of them actually so these three Not much happening over there, but in the chorus, it starts to pick up a bit. And this part. For now, uh, what else that makes up the strings is this library from the Crow Hill. It's called, uh, I think it's one of the R&D strings libraries, I think. I think that's what it's called. It's from the wall section. And again, it's just playing like a high note. And I'm playing around with the pitch, you know. Just because I want to give it more of an eerie feeling. <clears throat> Same thing over here. Horror Islands. That's what it sounds like to me. Uh, similarly oh yeah and then uh, I have also this violin layered on top of that going in the opposite direction and then I have some cellos because just to contrast with the eerie feeling, you know, the horror aspect, I was like, this scene is supposed to be a very touching scene, right? Like they are human and they are in the zombie apocalypse. So it needs some human element to it. That's what I felt the cellos would play a very, very appropriate role because it sounds very sad and it has a very like human quality. So the cellos over there are throughout the track are just playing the chords of Take On Me. Mm -hmm. 
you get the idea. I think it's a nice contrast to the horror elements. And then, uh, and then I have these acoustic guitars that are just playing like the root note at peak moments of the song. So that's the starting of the chorus and the end of the chorus. And then I have these high trebly, treble or picking sounds, you know. So all three of them on the acoustic guitar sound like this. Very minimal. Very minimal. And then I have three pianos. One is doing like super high notes. Well, that's on high, that's in the mid range kind of. But what this is doing is uh, uh, this is doubling the vocal melody of the chorus. Okay, because I felt like that needs to be reinforced, the chorus. Then I have these uh, these other pianos which have a lot of reverb and they're doing octaves on the higher uh, on the high range. Again, just to emphasize the melody, and then here's a normal piano being played like for the song. Played very imperfectly because I'm a I, I'm not a great piano player. But considering that it's a zombie apocalypse, I don't think things are supposed to be perfect. Anyways. So all three of them sound like this. That sounds beautiful. I think it complements the cello very well if you're gonna go for that human aspect amidst the horror that's happening around them. Uh, and then the last thing that I wanna cover is, which I think is the most important, is the sound design elements. So I use a lot of, lot of like horror samples from different libraries, especially uh, from Spitfire's Albion. I think they have one called UIST, UIST, which has a lot of ho like you know these violent drills that sound very horrorish. A lot of a lot of those textures are in that library as well. So using that in com combination with a lot of other things, and I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, apart from that, I'm using this one pad from Dark Prophecy, which is just adding one note constantly. It's in super contrast to what we just heard with the piano and the cello earlier, but this is what I was going for. I wanted something dark. And that's in the lower end. And then I have these tension pads, which are just coming in and out during peak moments of the song. So, you know, like the middle or the start and the end of the chorus. just for some nice ear candy. Towards the end of the chorus, as we've heard earlier, everything seems to get chaotic. Over there, in addition to the the violin pitch rises we heard earlier and the, uh, and the other violin that's going down, I also have a bunch of things happening at the same time. I have this, this tea kettle sound. And I think I turned up the distortion or saturation over there by using some plugin. I forgot which one. Then I have this, uh, this fiddle that's playing a very like it sounds like a whale. When I say when I say whale, I, I mean like like a whaling sound, like W A I L I N G. You know, typical horror stuff. Then I have the cymbal rise that isn't very loud. 
so I actually there's no point to it. And then last I have the spitrizer. Noise spitrizer, if that's what you call it. So it sounds like a siren. Combining all of this with the creepy strings that I have as well, it all sounds like this. So it's a bunch of layers that are just working together to sound nice and rich the way I want it to sound. So in a nutshell, yeah, so in summary, there are four elements that make up this track. Two of the major ones are the strings and the sound textures that we just saw. And uh, the accompanying elements are the piano and the acoustic guitar. I've never done anything like this before, where it's mostly sound design that's turned like Televibe. Because most of the performance is already captured in Ellie's uh, performance, right? Like, so I felt like I didn't really need to add much to that. It, this was an opportunity to play with some really dissonant, creepy sounding sound uh, textures. With that being said, I hope you found this video insightful. If you liked it, please uh, give it a like or subscribe if you like seeing these production breakdowns. If you have any questions, you can just drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Whether it's for this video or any other past one that I've done. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.